Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I'm going to show you how to create subtitles for a video automatically. There can be several cases where you might want to add subtitles to your video. For example, on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reel, basically everywhere on social media where people post the videos because you see sometimes people just scroll through social media not really clicking on anything just looking but the autoplay function on, on these social media platforms start playing the videos automatically now if it has subtitles people will understand what it's about and they might as well just click on it and watch the entire thing now when it comes to creating subtitles what I immediately think about is, oh my god, that's a lot of work. In editing softwares like Premiere Pro, for example, it needs a lot of transcribing and adjusting to time codes when it comes to creating subtitles. It's very time consuming and boring, to be honest. But with the Wondershare Uniconverter, it's, it's super easy. The Wondershare Uniconverter is an all-in-one video creating tool with functions like video editing, video converting, video compressing, CD burning, screen recording and much more, not to mention the AI functions that makes your life so much easier. If you want to try the software out, you'll find all links in the description below. But now let me show you how to create those subtitles with the Wondershare Uniconverter. First of all, I'm going to show you how it's done manually and then what we're all waiting for here, how to create it automatically in just a few seconds. Let's get started. First of all, open up the Uniconverter. On the left side panel, click on the toolbox. And then here, select Subtitle Editor. Import the video you want to create subtitles for. I'm going to use one of our videos. After it's opened up, you have a couple of options to create the subtitles. First of all, you can create them manually, which is the time consuming process. You basically need to go through one by one, line by one, and then adjust the length on the timeline. So obviously this takes forever. Here is when the auto subtitles function comes in the picture. Because this will automatically transcribe what's said in the video and then adjust everything to the timeline. Here you can select the language that's spoken in the video. It works best with English, of course. And when you have everything selected, just click start now. It will take a few seconds until it transcribes the video. And then click OK. And now, as you can see here, the entire video is transcribed and time adjusted to the timeline. Of course, you can go through it and correct the words that it didn't recognize well. And then if you still need to, you can time adjust the lines here by clicking and dragging on them and just move them wherever you want to. You can also adjust the length of a line by clicking and dragging on these dots here and then just make it as long or as short as you'd like to. If you move over here onto the Styles tab, you can give the subtitles a custom style. I'm gonna select the font size, color, but I'm gonna go with white. You can play around with transparency. You can position the subtitle and then fine tune it. And if you don't need this black background, you can just completely remove it. And once you're done with the styling, you can click apply to all. And now all subtitle lines have the same exact style. Down here, you can select an output folder. Now one SRT file is already saved here because after transcribing it, the Uniconverter automatically creates a separate file for the subtitle. So you could already use this in other softwares or in media players, for example. But once you're done with setting up your subtitles, just click on save. You have multiple options. First of all, 
you can save it to an mp4 file and burn the subtitle onto the video you can save it again as an srt file or you can save the project file so you could come back and work on it later and the best part is that you can do this all together and that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna click save and then wait for the unit converter to finish the process and now I have a video with subtitles on it. Perfect. And that's it. Super straightforward, right? Now, if you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comment section down below. We're happy to answer. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.